This tutorial is on how to make a simple poinsettia without Skinner blends, without extra tools, simply with templates and clay. You will need craft knives or sculpting type of knives and a roller, but that's about it. The options are to have a pasta machine. The options are to use molds and cutters, but this gets into expenses of the things that are necessary to buy. So this tutorial is going to be simply how to make a poinsettia without needing additional expenses. If you follow the directions that were posted, you'll see that you have the basic instructions and an extra template. You'll take the template and a pair of scissors and cut them out. The leaves ended up being a little bit bigger than necessary versus the inner blossom leaves. These are the inner blossom leaves. These are the outer green leaves. So you'll take and cut and once you cut up all the pieces you'll have your templates ready for use. I prefer the smallest. I think it's great. It'll work out great. The bigger ones we can save for another use, making napkin rings or the edges of picture frames, anything that you like. What we will do is we will begin as we always do with our wipes, cleaning all of our surfaces and tools to ensure that we don't damage any of our colors and make them something different than we wanted them to be. If you'll notice, this one is a glitter. The glitter colors are great, but they always seem like they're a little more crackly around the edges. It's the product of the glitter within that makes them less than soft like some of the other colors. So what we'll do is we'll utilize the red for the inner blossom and the green for the outer leaf. We want to make at least four of the green and we want to make at least eight of the centers, the, the blossom portion. So begin cutting and cut away. And just follow around the lines. You can make them slightly different or you can make them all as close to being the same as possible. You'll take each piece and using your tissue blade, you'll remove each piece off of the top. Now what I've done is about a mid-range thickness because I want to be able to bring the edges down and sculpt it to make it look like an actual leaf. I want to do that with both pieces. For the purpose of speed, I'm going to take and do just the one for right now, one each. And I'm going to show you how to do the veining. See, like this one moved a bit. I'm not worried about it. I'll remove the excess and lift the, the piece off. You lift it off any surface by bringing about a 45 degree angle and drawing it across your surface. That will allow everything to come off. Like if I tried to pull this now, I'd probably tear it or damage it. So I don't want to do that. So I've got each one and I actually want to look at both sides and see which side I may want. I, want, I may not want each flower to go in exactly the same direction. I may want them to be different. Right now I like this one a whole lot. And with the green one, I think I'll have it travel the opposite direction. I like that a whole lot. Now what our next step is going to be is creating the veining. You can create the veining with any number of things. You can utilize tips of specialty items, ball tips to create simple lines, or you can even take as simple as a the dull side of a craft knife or a pencil to create these. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to create small indentions. Notice it tends to make what looks like crumbs of the clay. We're going to smooth that over and then we're going to add our veining details because we want it to look like a real flower to some degree. And then we can either stagger it or make them exactly lined up. I kind of like staggering. Add a few more extras here and there for the extra long ones. And that is one of the eight poinsettia leaves that we need. Now you'll want to cut some slightly smaller than that, but that's the largest size I want to go with. And I'll pinch that point nicely like I will with the leaf. And I'll do exactly the same thing with the leaf. I can do a squiggly line instead of straight. Notice how I pick up a little bit of clay as I go. So you'll want to neaten that up after you're done, or you can do it as you go. You can make all your lines slightly different. They don't all have to be the same. That's nature. It's beautiful, and it's different. It's unique. So that's the basics of. Now, I would want to remove this piece also and give that a nice pinch. We have a little bit of red that's gotten on there, and all you have to do is a very shallow surface cut to take that out, or you could leave it on as a blend. There are our two pieces. Now what we'll do is create three more of these and seven more of these. As soon as that's done, I'll come right back.